What's up, guys? Welcome to NMD TV. Kane's all, Kane's all day. If you're rocking with you, then you know what to do. Hit that like and subscribe button so you never miss out on a video. I got to tell you that the story of Avante Williams will be one of the greatest mysteries of the Miami Hurricanes. It, it just it baffles me. Let's talk about it. If you didn't know, Avante Williams announced today officially that he will be entering the transfer portal Three years, three years of eligibility left. And if we rewind everything, let's rewind everything. You know, he he was the number two safety in the 2020 class, committed to Oregon, and in the last second decided to come to the University of Miami. And that day was epic. If you're on Twitter, if you're a follower recruitment, the day that Avante Williams committed to Miami was huge. We were looking at a situation where we had James Williams, Cameron Kitchings, and Avante Williams. Those three was going to be our back-end safeties for three, four years to come. And in basically in a couple years, Avante Williams is already leaving the program. Now, Avante Williams is a guy who he flashed when he got his first ever interception against Georgia Tech. But he also dealt with, the, I believe, a four-game suspension. He also dealt with, it seems as times, him just out of position. You know, there's a couple plays this season where he was just out of position. And to me, it's just one of those things where you never know how a player is going to be in your program. I'm saying all this stuff now about how he was out of position. He didn't get on the field. He didn't play a lot. But if you would have talked to me when he committed to Miami, I got to be honest with you. I thought this kid was a real deal, athletic freak of nature. And that even heightened once I saw him get the interception versus Georgia Tech where he attacked the ball. And the reason that really stands out to me because lately at Miami, I know Cameron Kitchens has had a great season this season. But before that, we really haven't had safety and defensive back play where players just go up and get the ball. So when I saw that, I said, man, we get a defensive coordinator that can use Avante Williams, Cameron Kitchings, and Tay Williams. This is going to be a beautiful sight to see. And it just never panned out. It never panned out. And I don't know why, because if you look at the high school tape, if you look at the measurables, Tay Williams had everything on tape. In college, he didn't do much at Miami. It's one of those things that I'll never understand what happened with, you know. And it's I think it's one of those things where you don't know unless you are at practices every day. You don't know unless you're inside the practices every day. But you can go back. Watch the instant reaction for when Avante Williams signed with Miami. And I'm only talking about myself I was going crazy because I really thought this guy was going to be a safety that made a huge impact for Miami, but it never panned out. What do you guys think? We got more to talk about. It was put out earlier today by Kings County that defensive back Tyreek Stevenson will be going pro. If you ask my opinion, this is, I wish he would have stayed another year. I feel like Tyreek is a player that could have helped bring on younger cornerbacks, younger defensive backs. When you look at Tyreek's time in college, played for Georgia, came over from Georgia to Miami and was a model citizen off the field. He did everything he was supposed to, did everything um, that was asked for him, started most of his time here at Miami. And, you know, he had a couple down, down games. He did, he did. But he also made some plays on the field. If you ask me, my opinion, I thought he played out of position. I think he is a nickel cornerback. A lot of people say safety. I really don't see safety. I see a nickel corner who can blitz, who can play the run well, and who can play the intermediate routes very well. I, I wish he would have stayed one more year they put him at nickel. We get some corners. But I, I honestly believe the reason that we couldn't do that is because we didn't have depth at the corner position. We couldn't trust anybody at the corner position. So he had to play the outside corner. I'll always remember that Virginia game where he made the big play, uh, the Pittsburgh uh, interception. I wish Tyreek was here for one more year 
But he but according to Kings County, he's decided to go to the NFL draft. And I wish him all the best. Let me know what you guys think about Tay Williams and Tyreek Stevenson. This roster is going to be looking a lot different. Check me out on Twitter. Peace.